Good morning, Shabbat Shalom, guys. Hi, this is Royalty Yasharel speaking, coming to you from the Way Enlightened Gathering. I have a message from the Most High God today that I would like to share with you all, the sons and daughters of the Most High God, the royal sons and daughters of the Most High God, I may add. This message is for two different groups. And the first group this word is going to be speaking to is those who have an apostolic anointing, a prophetic anointing, those who God has been speaking in, through voices and visions, dreams, uh, phrases, sentences, words, names, and through art, through synchronicities, God has been speaking to you. You've been hearing him, but you are not sure if you're supposed to speak the word or share the word in art, music, poem, poetry, spoken word. You're not sure. But God is saying he is speaking to you. And so this word is for those who are not yet fully engaged into their assignment. So God is speaking to the young and the old. He is speaking to the young and the and the and the older generations, shall I say? Um, and then this word is also going to be for the unrepentant, the unrepentant and unsaved. This is a warning for both groups. A warning, because God says, we'll see later on in the scripture how he tells Jeremiah. We're going to be reading from Jeremiah chapter 1. And we're going to go through most of the chap verses in Jeremiah 1 um, because the word of God says, study to show yourself approved. Okay? Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. So we're going to kind of get the gist of what was going on in Jeremiah 1 by reading quite a few of the scriptures. The title of this message today is Return unto me, O Israel. Return unto me, O Israel. This is a plea from God to the people, to the children of Israel, to turn from your wicked ways, turn from your worldly ways, and come back to the Messiah. Come back to the Father, Yahuwah, through the Messiah, Yahushua. So what we're going to do is be looking at some of this... Um, information here and the scriptures and see what God is wanting to share with us today. And before we get into the word of God, we're going to go ahead and pray so we can seal the word of God and to cover the word of God. So let's pray. Father Yahuwah Elohim, Yahuwah Tassavaoth, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, let thy perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, give us this day our daily bread. Father, forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. Father, you are the Most High Elohim. Father, you are the Ancient of Days. You are the El Shaddai, the Almighty God. You are the El Elyon, the Most High God. Father, you are holy. You are wonderful. You are awesome. Father, you are creator of all things, Father. You are the all-seeing and all-knowing God, Father. You are our great shepherd, Father. We shall not want, we shall not lack. Father, you cause us to lie down in green pastures. Father, you restore our soul. Father, you lead us beside the still and quiet, peaceful waters, Father. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Father, I shall fear no evil. For your rod, your staff, they comfort me. Father, you prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and our life. And we shall dwell in the house of Yahuwah Elohim, Yahuwah Tassavaoth forever and ever. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you to take us off the enemy's radar. Scramble the enemy's frequency, Father. Destroy the network, the altars, and the monitoring abilities of the enemy. Father, decapitate the head, hand, feet, arms, and legs of the enemy, Father. Render the enemy powerless. Render the enemy powerless. 
Father. Make the enemy deaf, dumb, blind, and incoherent, Father. We dismantle, destroy, and deactivate all tools, gadgets, and devices that the enemy would try to use to monitor our progress, monitor this word that he would use to try to monitor our success. Father, uproot the enemy right now and bound the enemy in the pit. Chain him, shackle him, cage him, bound him there for a thousand years if need be until Yahushua condemns him to the lake of fire to be utterly destroyed forever. Father, may this word go forth and prosper just as we have spoken it. In the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach's name we pray. To you, Yahuwah Elohim, Yahuwah Tesavo, be all the glory and honor forever and ever. Hallelujah. So, we're going to read Jeremiah 1, as I said before. And also, we're going to touch on Jeremiah 6, 16 through 19. And we're kind of going to go from there. Now, I will be reading from the Sefer version. Those of you who are familiar with that and those who are not, um, the Sefer Bible translation is uh, the restored names of the Father and the Son. And it's spelled C-E-P-H-E-R. That's how you spell Sefer, means the divine book. I like to read from that book because of the restored names of God. And a lot of the Hebrew names are in there. And it helps me to have a better understanding of what is being said. Now, there will be some verses that I will go over in the Amplified Classic Version just for more clarification and understanding to break down some of the words that... Um, will be used to get a clearer understanding of what God is saying to us today. So let's get started here. Um, so 2020, God has told me that 2020 is the year of God's prophets. 2020 is the year of God's prophets. And I know you've heard uh, a lot of the prophets that are on YouTube and all around. They're speaking about 2020 vision. God is giving his children clarity and clear vision. The Most High is making your way straight and prosperous. Now, when I say prosperous, this is in every area of life. Not just financial, not just materialistic, but most of all, soul prosperity. Soul prosperity. Okay? So, God is leading his royal sons and daughters into their assignments. Okay? So, 2020 is the year of God's prophets. And our, uh, our job is to usher the sons and daughters into their kingship and sonship. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start reading from Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1. And it reads, The word of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, which in Sefer Bible it says Hilkiah, and the priests that were in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin, that's Benjamin, to whom the word Yahuwah came in the days of Yoshayahu, which is also Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Yehuda. Now, Yehuda is Judah. Yahuwah is the most high God. You'll also hear Yahushua, which is the son, the Mashiach. So, in the days of Yoshayahu, the son of Ammon, king of Yehuda in the 13th year of his reign it came also in the days of Yehuaquim the son of Yoshiahu king of Yehuda unto the end of the 11th year of Tasikayahu the son of Yashiahu king of Yehuda all right so let's break down so this is Zedekiah son of Josiah king of Yehuda and that's Judah all right unto carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month then the word of Yahuwah came unto me saying before I formed you in the belly I knew you and before you came forth out of the womb I sanctified you and I ordained you a prophet unto the nations this is Jeremiah which is Jeremiah who which means the Jeremiah Jeremiah who in Hebrew means God will exalt thee God will exalt thee. So we're in chapter 1 verse 5. And he, he says, I ordained you a prophet unto the nations. This is the most high God speaking to the prophet Jeremiah. Then said I, Ah, Adonai, Yahuwah, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. 
I cannot speak for I am a child. So let's look at this in the Amplified, verse 5, to see if what exactly this is saying. So Jeremiah 1 in the Amplified Classic Version says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I separated and set you apart, consecrating you and appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's discuss that for a moment. God said before he even, you were formed in your mother's womb, in your mother's belly, he ordained you. He ordained you and sanctified you and ordained you as a prophet to the nations. These are the ones that God is speaking to now. These are the ones that God is saying with dreams and visions, giving you words, giving you synchronicities, giving you names, phrases, things you may not quite understand. But this is a word for the nation. As you speak the word, God will give them understanding to acknowledge what you are saying, okay? There's a scripture, Romans 8 9. It says, For all creation is eager, eagerly waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. God, this is, guys, this is your revealing party. This is the revealing party right now. This is a time like never before, the year 2020, for God's prophets to rise up. God is exalting you to speak what thus says the Most High God. To speak what those thus says the Most High God. Especially in this time and in this season, the world needs to hear the children of God more than they need to heal the world. So God's, uh, Jeremiah's response to that, he says, Yahuwah, Adonai, Yahuwah, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. Jeremiah made an excuse. Jeremiah is making it made an excuse and we have been making excuses we have been making excuses when we were hearing these things from God we were making excuses we we work too much or we have too much to do we have a family we have school we have to go to school we have so much going on that we cannot uh, speak to the nations we cannot um, do what God has called us to do but God has taking all the excuses away as you notice as you know he's put the world on reset he's pressed the pause button for us so that we can regroup so that we can come and hear from him so that he's removed all the excuses there's no more school work has closed things are beginning to open back up but he did press the reset button and things will never be the same again so you will not have the excuses that you had before. God has allowed you the opportunity to be able to draw closer to him. Uh, the word of God says, study to show yourself approved. It says, pray without ceasing. Meditate on his word day and night. Okay. So that he will be able to make your way prosperous. So that he will be able to make your way straight. To give you a clear path. So that you will be able to know what your assignment is from him. Now, another thing that God is saying through the verse 6, chapter 1, where he says, Jeremiah says, I cannot speak for I am a child. God is not only speaking to the adults. He's also speaking to the children. He's also speaking through the children and the teenagers. And so I'm going to say, I'm going to call out to the young people today. What God has been speaking to you, what God has been saying to you through dreams, visions, words, phrases that you may not actually understand. Pray for the Holy Spirit to give you understanding. Pray to God to be able to reveal what way he will have you to bring about the word that he's giving you. Young people, we need you to be able to speak because young people may not listen and see an adult bringing this information the word of God they may not receive it as well as they would from another teenager someone they can relate to um, so God can speak through anyone 
So I'm calling upon the adults as well as the young people to begin to speak, to begin to engage in the assignment by hearkening unto the voice of God and being led to do what he is calling you to do, to be obedient in this hour. We have to be obedient because your obedience is your protection in this hour. Your obedience is your protection in this season. Okay, let's continue. But Yahuwah said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for you shall go to all that I send you. And whosoever I command you, you shall speak. Hallelujah. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Praise God. He also says, See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the king kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. So guys, this is the assignment of the prophets of God. This is the assignment of those who will call into the apostolic anointing. We are the voice of God in the earth. We are the voice that are to lead God's people in the right direction. We are the voice to bring God's children back to repentance so that they can draw closer to him, so that they can be delivered, so that they can be healed and set free, so they can walk in their assignment and their calling that is placed upon their life before they were ever formed in their mother's womb. So with this being said, God is saying to come back to me. Hear my voice. Take heed to what I'm saying. Be obedient to me. I will deliver you. And when you are obeying God, your deliverance and your healing is permanent when you're obeying him. Hallelujah. So let's look at the Amplified Version a little bit because I want to go over what this, um, this verse 10 is saying. See, I have this day appointed you to oversight of the nations and of the kingdoms to root out, pull down, to destroy, and to overthrow, to build, and to plant. So guys, this is what the assignment of the prophets in the earth are. We're to root out, to pull down the strongholds, to destroy them, to overthrow them, and we're to build up God's children and to plant seeds in them. So this is what we are to do in this season and in this hour. We are to engage in our assignment. We are to obey this command. This is the this is our reasonable service. This is what we were created to do. We were born for such a time as this. Okay? Let's continue. So verse 11, moreover the word of Yahuwah came unto me saying, Jeremiah who, which is Jeremiah, what do you see? And I see I said, I see a rod of an almond tree, a rod of an almond tree. Then said Yahuwah unto me, you have seen well, you have seen well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Brothers and sisters, did you just hear what God said to Jeremiah? Now let's look at that word almond tree, almond tree. Almond is, means in Hebrew, watchful, watchful. The rod also can refer to the rod of Aaron, um, watchful. All right, so the word almond tree, he is raising up an, a watchful rod. He is raising up a watchful rod. I also had another illustration of the rod here. Um, but it means watchful. So let's continue. So the rod of Aaron. So he said, you have seen well. You have seen well. And I will hasten. He said, you have seen well. And I will hasten my word to perform it. Let's look at that chap that verse 12 in the Amplified to see if there's more clarity. All right. So he says, let's do 11. Moreover, the word of the Most High came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? 
And I said, I see a branch or a shoot of an almond tree, which is the emblem of alertness and activity blossoming in late winter. Then said the Most High to me, you have seen well, for I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. Brothers and sisters, the prophets of God, when we speak the word, God will hasten to perform just what we say. This is how powerful the word of God is through his prophets. Because God does not do anything until he first revealed it to his prophets. All right. So that's very important to remember. God does not do anything until he first revealed it to his prophets. Hallelujah. Praise him. All right, let's continue. So it says, verse 13, And the word of Yahuwah came unto me a second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a seething pot, and the face thereof is toward the north. Then Yahuwah said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the family of the kingdoms of the north, says Yahuwah. And they shall come, and they shall set everyone his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem. And against all the walls thereof, round about, and against all the cities of Judah. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other Elohims, which are other gods, and worship the works of their own hands. Brothers and sisters, this is the call to the unrepented. This is a call to the unrepented. God is given a warning. Throughout all of scripture, God sends the prophets to warn the children of Israel before the judgment. Brothers and sisters, what we are seeing in the world today is just the beginning of the judgments. In Revelation, it continues to show the different roles in the trumpets of further and more intense judgment as we go on. So this is a warning, guys. This is a warning, people of God, to repent, to turn back to the ancient ways, the good way that it speaks about in Jeremiah 6.16. And we'll go over that scripture as well. So this is a call to repentance before the judgment comes. Repent while you still have time. Because the times that are coming after this will be worse than what we're experiencing now. Okay? So in order to be delivered, in order to be saved, in order to be hidden under the wings of the Most High God, under the shelter and the buckler of the Almighty, we must repent and come back to God and be obedient to His Word, His commands, and His laws and statutes. All right. And for those of you who have, uh, you know, something to say about that, um, this is what I will have to say to you to petition you at this time. All right. So in this nation we're living in, there are laws. We must obey them. If we don't obey them, we will be punished. We will be judged. What makes you think? That we do not have to keep the laws of the most high God who created man who made the laws of the world of the earth of the nation what makes you think we do not have to obey the commands of the most high God and not be judged not be punished okay let's continue so he said he will utter his judgments against them touching all of their wickedness who have forsaken me? Who have forsaken me? And worship other gods and burn incense unto other gods and worship the works of their own hands. Guys, when everything was going in the world as it was going before we had the COVID-19, we were going about our business. We were doing what we were doing. We were going to work. We were going to school. 
We were doing a lot of things. We were busy doing a lot of things, but we were not doing what God had called us to do. We made a lot of excuses. We were too busy. We had a lot on our plate. So God has called us now. He's saying, do not continue to forsake me. I have removed the excuses. Do not continue to forsake me. Do not continue to worship the works of your own hands saying, I bought this. I did this. I got this. I, I have all of this. Look what I have done. Look what I have built. Look what I have made. Look what I have done. God says, he is going to judge these things. He is going to judge these things. So I urge you, brothers and sisters, while we are in this period of reset, before things go back to the new norm, I urge you, brothers and sisters, to reconsider this word. Reconsider the ways that you have been going in the past. To repent and turn to God. No longer forsake him. No longer worship other gods. No longer idolize other things that are not uh, the most high. That is not him. But other things in place of him. Do no longer do those things. No longer worship the works of your hands. No longer worship the things that you have. Turn back to the most high God. Return to me, O Israel. God is sending the word through the prophets. God is sending the warning through the prophets. Will you take heed? Will you take heed and go the way thee of God? Go the way thee of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Let's continue. So we're in Jeremiah 1 verse 17. It says, and this is the separate version we're reading from. Yes, let's continue. Verse 17. You therefore gird up your loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command you. He's speaking to Jeremiah. He said, be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound you before them. For behold, I have made you this day a defense city. Let's stop right there because I want to touch on Jeremiah 7 verse 117. I want to look at it in the Amplified version here he says but jeremiah gird up your loins arise and tell them all that i command you do not be dismayed and break down at the sight of their faces lest i confound you before them and permit you to be overcome that's a good word because he is telling you brothers and sisters sons and daughters the royal sons and daughters of the most high god he is telling us that I'm sending you, gird up your loins and arise. Be engaged in your assignment. Speak unto them all that I command you to say. When he's giving you these utterances, these words, visions, dreams, phrases, names. This is what he's commanding you to speak to the people. And he said, do not be confound. Do not break down in the face of the people. Do not be dismayed in them. He's saying, do not show the fear upon your face. Do not walk in fear. Bring the word with boldness. Bring the word just as God has commanded you in obedience. Bring the word. Because there's a warning in this scripture. There's a warning in this verse for those who are hearing from God and not bringing the word just as he has commanded you. There is a warning for those who have been bringing the word and bringing it falsely and those who are hearing the word and bringing and not bringing the word. He is he is bringing he's giving a warning here because he says if you show fear, if you are dismayed by their faces when you are bringing this word. He said I will confound you before them. And I will permit you to be overcome by them. By them the overcome. This is what God is saying. So the false prophets will be overcome. And those who are speaking God's word. Do it with boldness. Do it with integrity. Do it in fearlessness. Because he said, if you don't, 
you will be confound before them. You will be, I will permit them to you to be overcome by them. All right. So obedience is better than sacrifice. If God has given you a word, you are to obey God and bring forth that word. Plant the seed. Just as he has said, we are to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, and build and plant. We are to build up the kingdom of God. Build up the children after we have pulled down and destroyed and rooted out the evil enemy, the evil things of this wicked world. We are to build and to plant. So the word that God is speaking to you and to whatever form he's bringing it, you are to use that word, to speak that word, to build up the body of the Messiah, to build up the kingdom of the Most High God, to plant the seed so that they can take root and grow. Hallelujah. So they can flourish. Hallelujah. If a tree is planted and he in his roots, he is planted in the roots, he shall flourish. He shall produce good fruit. But if the tree is not connected to his roots, he will not bear fruit and he will die. Hallelujah. Let's continue. So then on Jeremiah 1 verse 18, he says, For behold, I have made you this day a defense city, an iron pillar, and a brazen walls against the whole land, against the kingdom of Yehuda, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. Hallelujah. And they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says Yahuwah, to deliver you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, hallelujah. So let's go over a little bit about what, it's, what he's saying, what God is saying in verse 18. Because I thought it very peculiar that he used some of the words that he that's described in the temple. Some of the things that's described. So let's look at the Amplified Version for verse 18. Um, it says, For behold, I have made you this day a fortified city. Fortified means that he's provided you as a defensive work, uh, as pro provided you with defenses and works of uh, protection against attacks. This is what he's describing the prophet Jeremiah of. He has provided you with defenses and works as protection against attacks. So this is what he's saying to Jeremiah, that he is a fortified city. He's made him a defense city, a protective city against attacks. He also says, and an iron pillar. So iron represents strength. Iron is one of the strongest metals, okay? It's a resistant metal. And so it is also used in a lot of times where silver is not able to be used. It is used in the place of those um, instruments and weapons and tools. So it also means strength and support. Pillar represents the, a bridge between heaven and earth. There were pillars in the temple. The brazen walls, brass, bronze, the brazen walls represents judgment of sin. Judgment and sin, a judgment of sin. Notice in the temple, a lot of the, the wash bowls and the basins that the priests would wash in were made of bronze. These were, they were cleansing the cleansing of sin, the washing of sin, the washing and cleansing, dealing with getting the sin off of you, was the bronze and the brazen uh, washing bask in the temple, in the vessels that were used, dealing with sin. Also, what comes to mind is when they describe the feet of the Messiah, the Messiah, bronze feet, burned brass, 
that is Yahushua representation of judging the sin that Yahushua will judge the sin okay so these are some things that God said that he had made the prophet Jeremiah okay and he also described him as a wall a wall a wall represents protection strength it also represents a tree symbolizing tree stability wall defense and he said against the successive the successive kings of Judah against the princes the priests against the people of the land giving you divine strength which no hostile power can overcome brothers and sisters this is the amplified version in verse 19 verse 18 Jeremiah 1 18 giving you divine strength which no hostile power can overcome God that guys that's a promise that is a promise I believe God talks about in his word in Hebrew 10 23 his promises and we'll go there because I want to read this all right so Hebrews 10 23 says so let us seize and hold fast and retain without wavering the hope we cherish and confess and our acknowledgement of it for he who promised is reliable sure and faithful to his word hallelujah so God is not a man that he should lie if he said in his word he will deliver you he will deliver you so brothers and sisters I urge you to heed the call the heed the word that God is giving you bring forth the word what and be exalted be exalted he is urging you to, to engage in the assignment that he has called upon you. We have a very important role in this earth, prophets, prophetess. We have a very important role. We just spoke about, we just read about what God says we're to do in the earth. Pull down, root, root out, destroy, throw down, build, and to plant. So guys, we need to get started if we haven't started already on the things of God because now is the time now is the time that to get started to move forward in these things so I want to go over to Jeremiah chapter 6 and we'll finish there Jeremiah chapter 6 starting at verse 16 and we'll end there all right praise him so Jeremiah 6 verse 16 says thus says Yahuwah stand ye in the ways and see and as for the ancient paths, where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to you the sound of the shofar. But they said, We will not hearken. So let's read the Amplified Version, Jeremiah 6. The Amplified Version says, 616, Thus says the Most High God, Stand by the roads and look. Ask for the ancient paths where the good way is. Then walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk in it. Verse 17, I have set watchmen, which prophets, over you, saying, Listen and pay attention to to the warning sound of the trumpet but they said we will not listen this is the warning sound of the shofar this is a warning sign sound to those who are hearing God's word and not speaking God's word not rooting down tearing rooting up planting building we're not doing those things this is a warning that you do not be confounded and overpowered by the enemy because of your disobedience. This is also a warning to those people who are unrepented and unsaved. This is your warning. God always uses the prophets to warn the children of Israel. Repent. Repent while you still have time. Repent and turn back to the ancient ways the good way the good way the ancient paths the good way and walk therein 
and ye shall find rest for your souls. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Verse 18. Therefore hear ye nations and know, O assembly, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my Torah. Those are the commandments, the laws, the statutes. The Torah, the first five books and beyond. The whole book, the whole divine book. But rejected it. To what purpose comes there to me? Incense from Shiva and the sweet cane from a far country. Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, a people comes from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold and bow and spear. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and they have no mercy. Their voice roars like the sea and they ride upon horses set in array as men for war against you. O daughter of Zion, we have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Anguish has taken hold of us and pain as of a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. This is a warning, people. Repent while you still have time before these more evil things come upon the earth. Repent now. So that you will be protected. So that you will be delivered. Let's go on verse 26. O daughter of my people. Gird you with sackcloth. And wall yourself in ashes. Make you mourning as far as Yaqi. Most bitter lamentations. For the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. I have set you for a tower and a fortress among my people. That you may know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. They bellows are burned. The lead is consumed of the fire. The founder melts in vain. For the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them because Yahuwah has rejected them. So, guys, you do not want to be rejected by the Father when these things come upon the earth. Take heed to what the Most High is saying. They take heed to what the Most High is requiring of you. In obedience. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. You do not want to be considered as reprobate silver. And rejected by the Most High. So guys, this is the word for today. I pray that you will go back and read the scriptures Meditate on the word, study to show yourself approved, and pray without ceasing. Guys, pray without ceasing. Ask God to show you what he wants you to know and do, and act on it. Engage in your assignment. And those who need to repent, repent while you still have time, before the final judgment, before the judgment, before the evil comes upon the land and you are rejected by the most high okay so guys I love you and I want to pray numbers 6 over everyone number 6 I want to speak a blessing over you number 6 25 through 27 may the most high bless thee and keep thee may the most high make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee May the Most High lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. 
and they shall put my name upon the children of Yasharel, the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Guys, be blessed. And till next time, I see you again. Love you. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.